It's your boy, Jay Green, Jay's Green Room, Green Room TV. Back for the second time. Interview status, man. One of my favorite guests, though. L Train. Oh, Sauce and delicious and nutritious. It's a business straight like that. The biggest business, the only business that's important when you're talking about business. Yeah, get you some motherfucking money and stop trying to be motherfucking funny. Straight like that, man. Straight what's going like down, man? Man, what's going down? I'm feeling good. I'm I'm elevating my shit. Nah, for you know sure. I've been watching on the ground. You steady going up. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I, right. I, I, I peep the work ethic. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate the work ethic. Shit like that be motivation. Anybody that... You know what I'm saying? I know personally, and I can see the growth that always inspired me to stay going forward and keep matching because it lets me know that the energy is near. You feel me? You got to attract yourself to those that are attractive. You know what I'm saying? Shut That's up. the only way you stay attractive around this motherfucker, and I like being attracted to money. So when I see elevation, yeah, it's always love, man. Straight like that. For sure, man. I, I feel and I appreciate that shit, man. Nah, for sure. Yeah, especially coming from you. Man, I'm still I'm still banging that Don't Cross the Tracks. Nah, Don't Cross the Tracks out right now then on all platforms. Apple Music, Spotify, all that good shit. 15 Songs of Pressure got some features on them. Yeah, I did some good shit on them for my debuts. You know what I'm saying? Mistake. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did some work on that. I put some pressure on that, but it was real smooth, real laid back. Something you can kind of cruise to. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I got some new work on the way. It's gonna be a little bit more teed up. You know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. How long you think before we get that new shit though? Man, I'm working on three projects, and, and, and it's gonna take a little time, but it's gonna be before the year over with. You feel me? And, and because of the weight. Even though it really ain't been no long time, I just dropped down across the tracks a couple months ago. But because of the weight, I'm going to give you a tape with me and my brother, South Walker. We working on that right now. Okay. I ain't even been sleeping the last 48 hours. Uh, I'm going to give you, I got another tape coming out, solo tape that I'm working on. And um, so that you? motherfucker going to be having, that hell going to have pressure on that. But what I'm going to do with that tape to show love even more so than what else I'ma do, I'ma have a deluxe version of the tapes. I'll slow and throw. R.I.P. Mm. Robert Earl Davis, keeping screw alive, even though, you know what I'm saying, his body is resting under the ground and soul forever live and spill through the culture of what we put on for H Time and the rest of the motherfuckers in Texas, man. We 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 bang screw out here, man. You know what I'm saying? Though. So for my next tape. The deluxe version gonna be slowed and throwed by DJ Purple. Shout out DJ Purple. Shout you out. feel me? And um, yeah, I'm working on the album with my brother South Walker, and I'm also working on a project uh, with this nice gentleman I met, man, from New York. Mm. He's an artist, and um, he paints and he draws and, and create things like that with his with his creative mentality. And he uh he collaborated with me. We come together on a project. And we gonna drop something like an EP, a little eight piece for the people. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna get it. that. And that's really specifically for him. You know what I'm saying? Because he paid me good money. I fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? He got artwork. I got artwork. You know what I'm saying? It's all about the artwork. Art gonna live forever. Yeah, art, you know? art and music, they go hand in hand like a motherfucker. Goddamn right. And then when I'm gone, you know what I'm saying? My artwork is my music. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And my music gonna live forever in my culture and, and, and my culture what I represent, you know what I'm saying? My music touches that right there. Yeah. You feel me? So forever I'm a piece of the cloth that drapes the culture that I'm a part of. So shit, hey yo. Man, I under dig for real though. So shit, I'm working hard though, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't been doing no relaxing. Then I had surgery, you know what I'm saying? My, I really don't put it out there like that. You know, somebody told me about that. Nah, for sure, because I ain't never been the type of nigga to complain and do all that extra ass shit. And I know how the internet operates to some degree. And a lot of people do shit and they try to do it for attention and, 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 and media insights and all that other shit. I'm not like that, bro. I, I'm really a gangster, bro. Like, yeah. I'm in the streets doing what I do and I keep it moving. I'm an entrepreneur out here. You feel me? Like, I got my own shit breaking right now. You feel me? And TSL Business, we really doing that. So I don't put nothing on the gram or nothing on the internet to try to bring a certain light. Like, 
sympathy and oh train and this and this and that nah man but i did have surgery you know what i'm saying on my knee you know what I'm saying? Mm. Tell my ACL I got in a car crash. Tell your ACL. Now listen, you L train, mm -hmm. you got your name from running over niggas on the football field. Mm -hmm. So now you done tell your ACL. I got a first question. Is this the first time you tell your ACL? Yeah, I ain't never had okay. no okay. like that. You know what I'm saying? And then the shit, this brain's about the shit. I had the surgery. I go see the doctor again. He like, man. You seem like you're fucking ten months healed. I ain't <laughs> had the surgery two months. I ain't no crutches, no brazen, no don't nobody know what's going down. That's, I kept that shit to myself. They'll train the X-Man. Nah, for sure. I ain't regular. You know what I'm mm. saying? But yeah, I went through that little ordeal. But you know, in all in all, you know, in all good sake, I still got my life. You feel yeah. me? You know what I'm saying? The person who hit me still got their life. And then ain't no issue. You got insurance. When you got insurance, you're good. I got insurance. My name good in the streets. I got credit everywhere I go. When I put my ten toes in that motherfucker, they said, oh, yeah, train, he good. So it was a car accident? Yeah, it was a car, a car accident. Car. Oh, so you about to be on some Kanye shit. Yeah, nah, for <laughs> sure, eh? <laughs> Shout out Kanye. He run for president. I'm voting. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, they let me vote. I'm voting for that boy. Shout uh -huh. out Kanye. Yeah, we going to talk about that. <laughs> Man, so look, this is me backing up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Stepping back, backing up. I hear you say, so you and Sauce got a tape coming. Sauce yeah, Walker. Yeah, man, my nigga Sauce Walker, my little brother, none other, the uh, KID, the DID. Mm. You feel me? Yeah, we coming together, giving the people some pressure because he from the South Side. I'm from Mo City. It's on the South Side. You feel me? Southwest area, somewhat. You feel me? But we just got our own style in Houston and us being from the South Side of town. You feel me? We got to keep pushing that shit because. It ain't too many out here pushing it, you mm -hmm. feel me? But we do got all type of talent streaming from the city of H-Time. Shout out to everybody who doing their best shit, you know what I'm saying? I salute that shit. Right. But me and my brother, though, yeah, we gonna come with the spill, splash, flick and dash, uh, sauce delicious, nutritious, and all that other good shit and seasoning to get a bit some reasoning, you know what I'm saying? You gonna y get that motherfucker, it will be on the way. I yeah, you. for sure. Man, uh... I, I can't really, really can't wait to hear that. But nah, even sure. with that, I'm going to just step in and I'm going to say this. This some crazy shit. You probably never heard this, though. This And it's just not because you're in the green room with me. L-Train, in my opinion, it's a lot of members in South and TSL. L-Train, in my opinion, top five South TSL. And that, this is not based on nothing other than the music. Nah, for sure. One out, one mixtape. This is my opinion. One mixtape. Yeah, L Train top five. Hey, I appreciate that, man. I'm humble. <laughs> you feel me? Nah, for sure. I got fans out here, man. A lot of people like me. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't like me. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to talk about what I do, what I'm living, what I got going down, what I'm surrounded with, what I see going down. Sometimes I tap into the ghetto. Sometimes I tap into, you know, being a black man in the injustice, you know what I'm saying, society or injustice society or whatever. I peep that. And, um, you know, I got different styles and variations. So for you to say that, you know what I'm saying, it means something because the sauce is filled with seasoning. Yeah, and I, I'm, I'm fucking with everybody. Yeah, and we got pressure from all angles. We got niggas who can hit you with this right here, mm -hmm. and we got niggas that can hit you with that right there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I just, I just like to make bold statements. You know what I'm nah, saying? When you make them type so. of statements, it make people think. Nah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Nah, but when I think about myself, I'm the baddest motherfucker around. Hey, look, I ain't gonna lie to you. When I was born, my nigga, <laughs> I came out to pussy feet first. <laughs> I'm telling you. Hey. He different. He different. I, hey, look, people be laughing. They be thinking I'm bullshitting. When I came out the womb, it was ten toes out first, straight toes out, feet came out, and when I came out, I landed on the motherfuckers right there. The doctor <laughs> said, man, it's it's remarkable, and I had a veil over my face. They ain't under, man, y'all know me, man, L Train, man, anybody who know me, aka E.T., that's my original nickname, y'all know my mama, man, y'all can spill up on that lady, she still stay on the same block, same street, all that shit, man. 
Just don't go over there with that bullshit. Mm, I feel you. Yeah, don't leave that lady alone. Don't fuck with them people. Leave her alone. But if y'all want to go over there and check out some shit by train, and you want to know, hey, was this nigga born? And did he come out feet first? She going to tell you. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I already knew I was special from the first moment. I can understand what the thought process was. Know what I'm saying? So like, I don't be looking at the rap shit like I'm trying to be the best rapper or I go harder than the next nigga. Uh, know what I'm saying? Because that shit, everybody got their own touch on what they do. I'm just a part of the thread. You feel me? Sure. Know what I'm saying? This, this, everybody who rap. Know what I'm saying? I don't care where they from. Uh, Georgia, New York, Mississippi, Tennessee. Know what I'm saying? It's a part of the culture and club that 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 drapes. Know what I'm saying? Our culture. You I got you, I got you. Yeah, yeah. So shit, as long as I'm a part of that motherfucker and I got an input, you know what I'm saying, a little print, you put me a little smidge or something on that motherfucker, I'm boo, cause I got motherfuckers in the streets that really listen to me that's inspired by my lifestyle and my music. So that shit that touch me alone and keep me humble, man. So again, I appreciate this shout out. Well, I agree with you. For sure. Yeah. Is L Train T S F O G? <laughs> Man, I'm TSF Business. I've been an OG. It's like... Look, look, last time I interviewed, I asked you, because you was really fresh out, and I'm like, damn, is L Train the newest member? And you nah, told me, no, yeah. I'm the oldest member. Yeah. And I say that to say this, like, TSF, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't a part of the creation of TSF. You feel me? So when when you say I'm a TSF OG, you feel me? I'm just an OG nigga. So, like, out the strength of that, nigga gonna give me my respect. You feel me? But, like, TSF was something that I didn't create, but the actual members who created TSF, Sauce Twins, okay. Biggie Sunshine, and Sauce Walker, were a part of what I created. Know what I'm saying? Which is Mash Mode. Mash so, Mode, OG. Yeah. Mash so, mode through our lineage, yeah. through our lineage of our brotherhood, you know what I'm saying? I've been fucking with them niggas since. 2004, 2003, you know what I'm saying? And we got other partners that been around, like my partner Vakash, he been around, you know what I'm saying? Other niggas that been around that's in the sauce, and some niggas that's not a part of the sauce, but was a part of Mash Mode. And, uh, you know, some niggas ain't a part of it no more, whatever, however it go. You know, people move on, get older and shit, turn corners and drive down streets. But TSL business, though, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's the biggest business and shit. I'm thankful to still be standing, you feel me? So, like, due to my lineage of knowing my brothers and fucking around in these streets and, and doing what I've done, you feel me? I got my status. So, shit, my status still stand with me even though I'm a part of the South. So, yeah. I fuck with you. So, TSF is the biggest business. The biggest, very biggest. In man. Texas, rap business. Listen, man. Hey, check this out, man. I, I, like I say, I commend any millionaire-minded, brilliant, uh, successful, prosperous, African-American nigga out here, man. I don't give a fuck what you do. You feel me? If you're an entrepreneur, you feel me? Or if you landed a deal and you agreed and to some terms that you feel comfortable with. Hey, but in my personal opinion, in my mind frame, what we got going on and how we did this shit, we the biggest businessman bar none, open up the vault, count the money, whatever. Style, movement. Whatever. Yeah. This shit is for real. Really dripping. Really splashing off the sauce. Really really got our own structure speaking sauce and knees. Uh -huh. Know what I'm saying? Um, under spear me, under splash me, flick a dash that. You saying? They don't even know it. Like, people don't understand fully like where they get they lingo from, you feel me? Like, and when I watch it, it been going down, though. That ain't no new shit. Like, H time is the home of trendsetting motherfuckers. We set trends in the H. Yeah. You feel me? From drink, from screw music, from sauce, from candy paint. That's what we do. Even just even even the word doty. Yeah, just the Even shit we done came up with. From old school turns to new school turns to 
For shit show. For shit show. Like no, yeah, that, it, that's just you feel me. It's a part of our. It's a part of our motherfucking me heritage. So it was only proper that a new motherfucker would come around with another trend right. and set it. And South Walker was that nigga. Mm -hmm. You feel me? A part of a part of the teamwork and TSF branding. We moving through the cities and through the states, and we doing this shit properly off the splash. So yeah. when you think of it from that perspective, we we always say, "Hey, man, we're the biggest business." And when you speak things into existence and place that shit in front of you, you always see the goal that you're trying to achieve instead of just thinking about it. It ain't behind you in your mind somewhere. That motherfucker in front of you, cause you speaking it out in front of you. To set the biggest business, nigga. We just hit. I'm talking about since coronavirus. <laughs> man, we didn't spent three point five four million dollars as a company. On some fun shit. Company business doing work though. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mansions was bought, diamonds was bought. What's the what's the main income of TSL? What's the main thing? The thing that bring the biggest bag? Marketing. Marketing. Yeah, yeah. Marketing. We have a great marketer in South Walker. He's very brilliant when it comes to advertisement, when it comes to self-publishing, when it comes to self-promoting, and um, we have a chart. This ain't no just no shit. A nigga just you feel me? Like nigga, we ain't just no group of dumbass niggas. We put that shit together, man, and, and that shit works. You know plot, what I'm you plot points and you hit them. Yeah, yeah, and that shit works, and um, we just keep dripping on. Them. You know what I'm saying? No matter what, you can't stop the sauce. We got too much flavor. So when we dropping, when we dropping tapes, we got niggas like Sosa Man in LA. We got we got Peso Peso. We got Rizzo Rizzo. We got Sauce Walker. Niggas still waiting on Sanchez. He and they just dropped the Sauce Twins tape too. Lost in the sauce. You know what I'm saying? You got myself. You got Vucci. You got Brazy. They love him. Brazy. He ain't dropped the tape yet. You see what I'm saying? We got so Sauce many. Sousewood winning. Sousewood winning. New edition, mm -hmm. new member, but he been a Sauce nigga. Right. And actually, Sousewood winning. Shout out to my Bonnie Hunter. Hey, Sousewood winning was in the penitentiary with me, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So me and him got our own struggle and our own bun. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's my nigga. You feel me? So, like, shit. Still going down. Hey, yeah. So, shit. It just. It's just different. We got a lot for me over here. We ain't really know. That's why it ain't no envy and it ain't no hate, no jealousy. And ain't no niggas ain't never hearing about no fuck shit going down in the South. Like how niggas heard about fuck shit going down like in Cash Money or like in No Limit. Right. right. You feel me? Shout out to Master Pedo and shout out to Barry, man. Man, them niggas had a million dollar mind frame too. Shit, and they got money and was successful in their own right. But like the sauce is the truth. The sauce is the truth. When you go down through the history and listen to the stories that was told about, you know what I'm saying? These groups of rappers and these organizations of entrepreneur type niggas coming together, it was always some fuck shit somewhere around that motherfucker. Right. Juve, BG, Turk, all these people in the suits, man. You feel me, Lil Wayne? God damn, they were fucked up about that. Cause Lil Wayne, he the goat. Yeah. You feel me? He right, the goat. Right. Right. So right. shit, nigga was like, damn, hot bird man, fuck over Lil Wayne. <laughs> so shit, then when it came to Master P, it is what it is. They got people, people saying all type of shit how they feel about that situation or whatever. But you never in the sauce though. But the sauce, you never get lost. You come to the sauce, you <laughs> live like a motherfucking boss. And when you spill with the sauce, you for sure gonna floss. Man, cause this the only way, man, we really spill it. And it's all off the spill. I feel you though. Nah, for sure, show off the splash though. Nah, that way, not this way. This is my question to you though now, is with the sauce, with TSF, with the sauce. Yeah. What's more important? The money or the legacy of the sauce? Say that one more time. What's more important? With the sauce, with TSF, mm -hmm. what's more important? The money or the legacy of the sauce? The legacy gonna be the legacy. Um, the money is more important to me. Mm, okay. You feel me? Because with the money, my legacy will continue to be built. You feel me? With the money, my legacy and structure 
whoa, whoa, whoa. Forever last without no money, the legacy it gets shortened. It, it's just like a life. If you got money and you live a long time, your legacy is gonna be forever great. You feel me? Motherfuckers ain't talking about my nigga Kobe no more. Hmm. You feel me? Cause he died young. Hmm. You feel me? But he has an awesome legacy. But ain't nobody talking to me about it. You feel me? And, it, and it's Braves and the Lakers and the playoffs. I just heard him talk to LeBron about it because it's basketball. But for the things that this man accomplished solo, his legacy surpasses basketball. You know what I'm saying? You think he gets enough credit for what he did? Oh, yeah, for sure. Show Kobe Bryant to go. You know what I'm saying? I just use that as a paraphrase, gotcha, like as an example. You gotcha. know what I'm saying? When, when, whenever a motherfucker speak on Kobe, man, niggas know in real life, niggas know that's 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 Jordan, man. Outside of Jordan MJ. Jordan Jr., man. Yeah, outside of MJ. And, and you ask me, man, MJ. Kobe could hoop harder than MJ, you know what I'm saying? It's just that, you know, it was just a different time frame a little bit, but yeah, Kobe to go, man. I feel you, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. A lot a lot of times when South Walker, quote unquote, beef on niggas or bark on niggas or check niggas on the internet, which is not beef, but which I understand as him really checking niggas, a lot of time when he conflict with niggas, I realize that the main reason why is because niggas go against the legacy of the souls. Yes. Now, I say this. The legacy holds no lesser amount of importance than the money. But when I say the money, it's because the money is what keeps the legacy jumping. No, don't saying? lie. Yeah, I can take care of the shit I need to take care of with the motherfucking money. Yeah. But yeah, the legacy itself, yeah, because a motherfucker gotta watch what the fuck they talking about, nigga, when they speak up on this house, nigga. You can't just, you just can't say no any motherfucking thing, nigga, about nobody, yeah. nigga. That shit, that, that go for any real motherfucker. It don't gotta be the south. That just for any grown motherfucker or anybody who stand on what they believe in, man. When you stand on something you believe in like we do because we stomp down about that TSS shit. Because at the end of the day, this will get the bills paid. It's a business and it's the biggest business. So now that you got a family operating business, like you can't go against one of my family members and think. Yeah. Nah, but so okay. With that being said, feeling that way, now you know, what I'm saying coming in, now we are 2020. You know, what I'm saying past the pandemic, 2020 a crazy year, but now go yayo, this is sauce. Yeah. How do you how do you personally feel? Even even I even heard him bring you up in some of his rants on the internet. Yeah, he didn't spoke on my name a time or two or whatever. I mean, little bro, little bro, I really don't even know little bro. You know what I'm saying? The bro from where he from or whatever. And he feel how he feel or whatever. His, now, why that nigga feel like that, man? Nigga in his feelings. And when you speak up on the nigga for, in the first place. So a nigga was in his feelings. He spoke up on the nigga. And then he got so much in his feelings. He spoke up on me. Nigga don't even know me. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I met that nigga like twice. How you feel though when he spoke on you? And shit, it don't move me because he's just talking. I don't be doing none of that. Like, if I was a nigga to do that, like, my brother, he go on the internet, he rants on the internet. I ain't got, you know, that's his thing, whatever, I have it go. And he does it for his reasoning. He has a purpose behind it. He has an understanding. And my nigga's not doing no, no bumping. He talking about bagging up all that shit he talking about. So, like, when it comes to the talking and bumping on the internet, nigga, we really splashing about that shit. So, when it comes to the other niggas talking on the internet, niggas get to saying shit. They don't even know what they talking about. I don't even pay no attention to that shit because I know niggas just be talking. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro met me and seen me and, and we talked about some G shit, some street shit, some old story shit, and it never was no... I'll train you a hoe. I'll train. Nah, it never was that because niggas, niggas feel me when I'm around. Niggas know my presence. When my presence is in the room, motherfucker respect that, bro. Know what I'm saying? So shit, I don't got to do all that. Shit, niggas know everything they need to know about me. Well, you feel me? I don't even do no bumping. Know what I'm saying? But I, as far as him and why he, why he did it, I don't know. Whatever his, his reason was, but... I don't feel no type of way, you know what I'm saying? Niggas get mad every day, bro. 
I got niggas hate on me just for, for whatever reason. Niggas hate. You can be the most plugged nigga in the world, bro. This one thing. Hey, Green Room TV, let me ask you this right here. I got a question for you. Come on with it. When you was growing up, and you was passing the stage of adolescence going into teenage. Right. Was you a nigga that wanted to fuck with the hoes, get money, be popular, and be cool? Definitely. Or was you the nigga that wanna hate on a nigga, be a snake, slither in a grass ass nigga, and talk down on a nigga? Nah, I was and be bummy. I was definitely trying to be with with the shit that was that was percolating. Man, I fuck with bitches, brother, and get riches. And on top of that, solid nigga. And I done been everywhere. Nigga ain't never been, man. Shit. Yeah. I don't be doing none of that. I don't, that's why I just stick to the script. Yeah. You feel me? When nigga get talking out that neck, bro, I just take it for what it is. You feel me? He don't fuck with me. And he, he feel how he feel. I, I, I can't remember what he said because I don't follow, bro. But uh, somebody had sent it to my page, but it went away. But I heard it, but I can't remember. He said something, though. You know what I'm saying? But that nigga ain't saying nothing, dog. Man, Goyeo calling himself the king of Texas. A uh, lot, like this, this is not really a beef, but this internet conflict that he created, you know what I'm saying, has been going on heavy around all Texas, like vlogs for like a month now. You know what I'm saying? When you, when you think about this, do you think it's a mistake? Do you think, what, what matter of fact, not even that. What would be the best name to call this situation? Because at first they was calling it Dallas versus Houston, Fort Worth versus Houston. Yeah, but really, ain't no Houston versus but, Dallas or no shit like cause that. Because that that's not the case at all. Yeah, that little nigga ain't even from Dallas. And they was calling it, you know, little Fort Worth versus Houston. But if you had to call put a name on this situation that came about, what would you call it? Hater right. <laughs> This is a prime example of when a nigga go to the grocery store because he got cotton mouth <laughs> and he bought a big ass bottle of haterade. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, you just, uh, he, but like again, a nigga is entitled to their opinion. And in his song, he felt the need to say that he felt my brother was on some weak shit or whatever. Alright, so every action has a reaction, you know, and it goes how it goes, bro. Like, I don't know, but he feel like he king of, king of Texas or whatever that shit. Like, okay. Man, tears up business, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Open up the votes. Let's pull out the cars. Let's pull out what the business is operating under. The you feel me? Like, the yeah, paperwork. let's pull out the... Yeah. Like, at the end of the day, you feel me? I'm comfortable. When I go to my spot, my own personal spot, I can turn around and go to the mansion. That's the, that's the highs. The, the burn is. Just the burn is. Then it's a whole nother mansion in a whole nother state. It, these are multiple spots you're talking about. And it's a whole nother spot in a whole nother state. So, like, when we pull, like, what TSF business is doing and operating under, man, we're the biggest business. I don't really care what nigga got to talk about, man. Unless you try and do a deal. You want to get a feature. You want to shoot a video. You try and fuck with some of my models. You need my models. Yeah, if you need my models. Okay, you got models, huh? I got models, man. I right, this you know is what I'm saying. Look, this is a honey bun. Look, man. this is a real question. <laughs> this is a real question because Green Room Uncut only fans page is gonna pop off in about a week. Okay. Can anyway, Green Room purchase some modeling entertainment from L Train? As long as the fee is at the standard for me, then you can get a model. To come join and we can get it on and move along, man. Listen, it's all about the financial gain and prosperity. I have models that are willing to be participants. You feel me? In any modeling format. Because hey, this is how they eat. I I, I, I deal with business, Yeah, I deal with people that have the understanding of teamwork makes the dream work. Not only do they understand the dream only comes together due to the team making it through through any weather. Mm -hmm. The team has to make it. It can't be no one person surpasses no, because then somebody going to fall off, and then that hurts the whole operation. It's just like when you got a motherfucking me car. Mm. 
the wheels turn, the motherfucking me gas burn, man. Mm-hmm. But the shit ain't going nowhere if a nigga don't know how to drive. Factual. You ain't got the operator in there. You ain't going nowhere, car. So shit, even though the operator is the operation, we need everything in tune. And when I deal with my models, my models, they work like that. They do photo shoots. They have fun, man. They girls, they do modeling and shit. So they always ready and down to get in front of the camera. We're going to have to talk about it. Man, and look, y'all, if anybody, you know, tapping in, anybody want to submit an application or anybody looking for some work, man, holler at L-Train, man. Nah, for shit, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I got the Villa Babies, and I got some merch for the Villa Babies dripping song for all the ladies out there that do fuck with me, that do fuck with the sauce, who do like living like a boss, and do want to floss. I got the Villa Babies merch on the way. Mm. You feel me? Yeah, see, we popping the pink back off. I was putting it on you niggas and putting on you bitches all motherfucking me the other year, but I eased up and I got out the way. I... You know what I'm saying? I've been bullying, but I just been getting to some money, man. And we popping back off. You know what I'm saying? The paint to make the bitch think, wink, and blink. And mm. we gonna show them enough. Bring the merch out. You know what I'm saying? To bring the hearse out, man. Cause we killing this shit, dog. Yeah, I yeah. Man, I, I'm gonna ask you about that pink, too, before we get out. But what I want to ask you about now, though, this is me, Jay Green, because you know I got them questions. When you hear the word slime, what what comes to mind or what cuz what's filth the, filth filth slime comes out of trash can slime slime be at the bottom of a of a fucking garbage bag this slime be be in a fucking uh, dirty nigga nose or some shit boogers and shit boogers and slime i when i think of that shit i think of filth man i think of uh, garbage I think a shit that's not appealing. Hmm. You feel me? I think a shit that's preposterously abnormal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so look, the reason why I ask you that, of course, is there's a lot of rappers, and I would say in the southern region, who use slime. What region in the part of the southern? I would say southeast. Like, I would say Atlanta. Like Atlanta? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah them niggas over there, the slime machine. They use machine. slime as the slime machine. Man, yeah, shout out to it, shout yeah, out to Marvin Zindler, <laughs> slime in the ice machine. Slime in the ice machine. Listen, man, your spot getting shut down when it's slime in the ice machine. <laughs> you got to really be from Houston to know about that shit. Nah, man. for shit, show Channel Thirteen News, I witnessed. But now on 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 that topic of discussion, man, hey, them niggas is not really the solve. That shit, East Coast. That shit, East mm. Coast time frame. That shit, way over there, over there. You feel me? But, you know, hey, it's, hey. That's their slang. So when yeah, a nigga use slime, that is, what, people, that, nah, that shit means something. But if you want to say that's a slime, that's boo. But look, that shit is a fucking, the, the logo of a slime is a snake, bro. Like, that shit's nasty yeah. as fuck. You feel me? Like, I ain't never want to be no pig, rat, roach, nor snake. These, these four items, these four objects, these animals, all that shit are symbols of bullshit. If so, you a rat, you a snitch. Right, right, right. You feel me? You says nine Takashi. So look, so basically, you feel like when but niggas nah, when niggas me. use slime as they kind of lingo, they really saying we on some. We that snakes. What you think? Mm. If you saying slime, you are calling this nigga a snake, a fucking slime ball, a fucking fucking filth. Hmm. That's what you, that's like, that's like, um, that's like, that's equivalent to a motherfucker calling you shit. If a nigga start saying, what's up, shit? You feel <laughs> me? If a nigga start calling people shit all day long, I'm like, bro, don't call me shit, nigga. You know what shit is? Yeah, that's, at the end of the day, like, yeah, I don't, no, that slime shit. That, nah, man, move around with that shit, dog. Cause that shit, that, that shit, filth. You can't. It's no way that you can make it sound appealing and, and, and try to morph it and, and, and turn that shit around to symbolize anything of greatness, especially when a logo is a serpent. Mm. You so cursed, you don't got legs. You gotta crawl on your belly for the rest of your remaining years of life. You just fucking snake. Nah, man. Yeah. Nah. Yeah.
is is slime would you say i guess the bootleg version of sauce hell no that shit just that shit ain't got nothing to do with sauce i got you i'm just trying to get understand now nah, for sure ain't no bootleg version of sauce for sure we the real deal everybody else they just spilling they trying to they just keeping the sauce prevalent they just they they just don't pay homage mm. you know what i'm saying like you got some niggas that pay homage quietly know what I'm saying? You got some niggas that, that, that fuck around, know what I'm saying, with the sauce and, and splash with us the right way. Shout out to niggas like Trippy Red. Shout out to my nigga Chris King. Shout out to some of the niggas who fuck with us. Know what I'm saying? Shout out Wife and Lucha. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, they fuck with us. Know what I'm saying? Like that. But, nah. I feel you. Hey, yeah, them niggas just a bootleg version of they self. <laughs> them, niggas, them niggas girls. It was a bunch of niggas that wanted to be girls. Yeah. They said, fuck it, let's be snakes. That's crazy. That's crazy. You know, bitches' body move like a snake. That, no, that's, they yeah. turn young, you feel me? They go back they to that Adam it, and that, Eve shit. Yeah, they go back to that. That's why the bitch was appealed. That's why, that, you feel me? That's why I get niggas to subscribe, you feel me? Mm. They got their master card and their visa on that bitch watching my models. You feel me? Because the body moved like a snake. The bitch got an ass on my body, you feel me? Yeah, you bitch ass <laughs> niggas wanted to be a fucking bitch. That's why them niggas calling each other slime and shit, man. Bitch ass nigga. Man, you have it from Bell Train. Yeah, shit, so pussy ass. Hey, check this out. Okay, while we let you go, I gotta make sure I hit a couple points. So the new shit from Bell Train is it dropping twenty twenty? Yeah, I got our new work three tapes. One deluxe version, one with South Walker, and one with a guy that I fuck with. Before the end of the year. Before the end of the year, I'll drop it, man. All that shit gonna drop. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to push all that shit out, man. You know how that shit go. Sometimes we can't we can't determine the unknown factors of the world that pushes out all type of other shit. Remember, Green Room said top five, so I won't. I, you know what I'm saying? Don't have me looking bad, man. Nah, for sure. But <laughs> we, I'm doing. We doing our best. We got a lot of work. We pushing out. Oh, uh, cause the deal is real, so you know we we pushing out a lot of projects right now. Now nah, for sure, man. So I was walking, we dropping a project, and that bitch will be coming out this year for sure, no doubt about it. And we gonna have a lot of heat on that motherfucker. We working, man, all day long. We ain't going home while you niggas is yawning. We staying in the studio till the early morning. You feel me? And we locking in, knocking shit out as we speak. Got three studios jumping right now, pumping right now. Got this music on the way. Me and Sauce Walker, you know what I'm saying? Myself, uh, Brazy, everybody drippy. Yeah, we got a lot of shit about to come out. A lot of pressure, man. Straight For like sure, that. man. For sure. I want to say, too, it's an honor and privilege to have you rocking with the green room again. But before we let them go, we're going to talk about your splicker dash. Man, look. What is this on the ear, man? You got the, with the camouflage, oh, yeah, money man. bag, wallet. Nah, man, this is a tag on the baby hat. You spit me? I just okay. don't take it out so a nigga know that that shit fresh. That shit ain't no bullshit. You know what I'm saying? $250 hat. You know what I'm saying? That's a Supreme shirt. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Now look, the bag though. Yeah, the Master Supreme bag. Nigga got, be, niggas be saying sometimes that be purses. Nah, the purse go across the shoulder. This strap across my chest. Oh, you know, I, I got, that's the money bag. Yeah, this the money bag. I got money and some more shit. Wallet. Just oh, on you. On me, this is a cool, you know what I'm saying? This is a money bag. I ain't tripping on that. That's what that's what that Supreme bag is. It's holding some bread. Yeah. It holds a little bread. Some give me some gas shit, gas money. <laughs> a lot you know of gas. Saying? Yeah, I got to eat. You know what I'm saying? Bad motherfucking babe shoes with the babe socks. I'm gonna shoot a video on this hoe. I ain't even know what this hoe. This is one time deal. This bitch four fifty. That's a one take, Jay. Yeah, yeah, yeah four hundred and fifty dollars shirt. I'm gonna wear that hoe on the motherfucking video. Fuck you niggas. Hmm. I, I ain't no fake ass nigga, boy. Nah, I feel you. I, I spent five hundred on something. I'm gonna wear that hoe more than one time, Jack. <laughs> bitch ass nigga, and I go buy it fifty more times too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. But I stay dripping, spilling, and splashing, splicking, dashing, in hot fashion on you pussy niggas' asses, straight like that. TSL business, the biggest business. I'm in this hole with green room. You niggas stay tuned. Got some new music on the way, and we don't play while you pussy ass niggas hate, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, I see. I, I, I know a gangster chick who told me one time that's the bag niggas keep they they 
they heat in. Hey man, shit, you know how that shit go, man. Hey, just don't approach me the wrong way. Know what I'm saying? Shit, I'm boo. Yeah, for sure. I sign autographs, I shake hands and all that shit. Yeah. Yeah, and I sell hugs. <laughs> yeah, sell hugs. Yeah. Like a motherfucker. Man, last time it's an honor privilege to have you in the green room. Nah, for sure. Shout out Green Room TV. L Train coming to you. E L underscore T R A I double N, man. TSL Business, the only business, Vegas Villain Enterprise. Yeah, drill, spill, splash. Hey, yeah. Last question. Do you have any questions for me? Nah, I ain't got no more questions, man. Only question is dripping. Yeah, I'm dripping and I'm splashing. On sauce, man. On sauce. <laughs> like that. L Train, right there, man. Stay like that. Stay like that.